Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy Battenberg. Let's begin. Into your mixing bowl of choice, you'll want to place your butter and your sugar and beat the two together until they are well combined. Once they are well combined, you can then give your bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in. So next you can start to add your eggs one at a time, beating well in between each addition. And my mixture scrambles a little bit, I know. And if this happens, don't worry, you'll be able to fix it when you're adding the flour. Once the eggs have been incorporated, you can give your bowl a scraping down and add in your vanilla and just mix that in to incorporate. Then you can add in your dry ingredients, passing them through a sieve first, just to remove any lumps that may be in the dry mix. And mix this on a low speed to start with, working your way up to a medium until it's fully incorporated. You can then give your bowl another good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in. You will then want to split the cake mixture into two. I weighed and measured my neighbour, but feel free to just eyeball it if you want to. So once you've got your two bowls of cake mix, you'll want to colour one pink and one yellow. You don't want to go too vivid with the colours, you want to keep it quite pastel. So just add a little to start with and work in more if needed. So I put both of my cake batters into one tin, which is an 8 inch square. I will leave all that information in a blog post and that will be linked down below. So here is what the cake looks like once it's been baked and levelled. I'm just trimming the sides off as you don't need the crusty bits from the sides. So once your cake has been trimmed, you can then cut your cakes into half. So you get four sticks in total, two yellow and two pink. You will then want to roll out your marzipan onto a, a lightly dusted surface with some icing sugar and just roll it out until it's big enough for you to work with. So to glue all of these sticks of cake together, you will want to heat up some apricot glaze on the hob or in the microwave and just put enough onto each stick so they stick together and it will all, when it cools down, it will solidify and stay together. So don't forget to trim your Mars pan down to size and then you can start to brush over the remaining apricot glaze, giving it a good amount as it will need a good amount to stick to the cake. So once you've got that done, you can then add your cake onto the one edge. I put mine on the left hand side, around a centimetre away from the very edge, and then you can just start to roll it up. This is really easy to do. Just make sure that you keep it tight and it's not loose. So then you can trim off the end as it may not look perfect or very nice. Mine had a slight crack in the middle and that was because I didn't trim the cakes very neatly so make sure that you trim them as neatly as possible. So thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again next week with another video so join me then. In the meanwhile check out my social medias and my blog all those links will be in the description down below so go and check them out and until next week bye guys.